Welcome back to the Paddle and Fin Podcast Network. We're brought to you by Pelican Built Tough. For all situations, go to pelican.com. Yak Gadget. For all your fine kayak fishing accessory needs, go to yakgadget.com. Eastport Marina on the beautiful shores of Dale Hollow Lake. For all your lodging, kayaking, and fishing needs, go to eastport.info. Now let's get this show started. 2023, boys and girls, are you ready? Welcome to a special edition of the Rusty Hook Podcast, streaming live on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. One hour of straight talk regarding tournament news, angler profiles, gear reviews, and more. Now let's get our show started by joining with John Rapp, our host. All right, guys. Hey, welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. I'm sitting up here at the, above, at the lovely brownstone room at the tractor bar trying to make this episode work. So, while I've been sitting here working on getting everything ready to rock and roll here tonight, and uh, trying to get my phone connected so we can go through some of the things that this episode's about. I want to reflect a little bit on 2022. So it's been a it was a good year, really good year. We did 60 live streams on the Rusty Hook podcast. Um, 50 of them were actually live episodes, like you're watching right now, podcast in a studio, sitting down, talking to guests, and, you know, doing things all related to kayak fishing. Then I had four or five episodes or shows that I was actually out on the water fishing. Several up at Lake Erie in May um, that were over an hour long each. Then I had some down at Feel Free Headquarters in North Carolina going through the warehouse. And at Del Hollow. Uh, interviewing uh, guys down there for the Paddle and Fin April blowout that we have every year down there. And guys, April 22nd, 23rd of this year is our April, is our Paddle and Fin blowout. It's a two-day tournament at Del Hollow. Eastport Marina is going to be our home location for, I guess, the fourth year, fourth year in a row. Brian and everything going down there. It'll be my third year down, and I, I look forward to it every year be a great time so make sure you mark your calendars uh, for the 22nd 23rd um, I don't know the details yet but if I can tell you my experiences down there have been outstanding I've stayed on the water at the resort um, you're 30 yards from the restaurant because you stay in one of the houseboats you can keep your kayak moored up so you can jump in go fish go to your coves that you want to hit I mean it's just an outstanding place down there to Eastport. Eastport's, it, it rocks. And then uh, up on top at the farm where we do all of our, our event check-ins, check-outs, dinners, um, it's just outstanding as well. So make sure you go check out the Eastport Marina Facebook page and watch for details here on the Paddle and Fin page for the upcoming tournament in April. Yeah, so Rusty Hook, we, did, we had a great year. We interviewed over 60 people. Uh, Chris Payne from Payne Outdoors was a frequent contributor last year. Did lots of uh, plastic pours, gear reviews. We interviewed guys like Jody Queen. Um, I mean, wh what a year. We had a great year. Mark Edwards. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this year. Looking to, forward to getting more involved with the guys at Paddle and Finn. And, um, you know, one of the things, if you were, you were here, guys, I see there's several of you online watching. Um, if you watched the beginning of this show and you saw the credits or, or the opening credits, um, like the, the commercial intro for the Paddle and Fin page with Pelican, Eastport Marina, and Yak Gadget, all of that I made for this right here, this iPhone. I made it on my iPhone. Sent it to Brian. He used it um, and incorporated it into the openings up there. 
I want to show you there if I can. Let me find the paddle and fin. I think this is the opener that I created on my iPhone that we've been using uh, from late October to now. And everything that was done here was done on the iPhone. Let me, let me check and see if this is the right play and we'll go for it. Okay. Welcome back for another OG show live. Mr. Randall, how you doing? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Reel Down. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Fishing for News. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to, once again, Bass Kayak and Beers. Oh, brother, this is the final cast. Another segment of uh, Chasing the Tide, your saltwater connection on the Paddle and Fin podcast. Welcome back, everyone. So as you can see, relatively easily, I was able to build a pretty really cool intro by clipping together some of the guys podcast intros and then i threw a a, a, a a layer over top of those with the paddle and fin logo flipping in and out so the thing that you want to look at and when you're working with graphics and if you're looking at my graphics now here guys you can see my rusty hook background is just a brick background and I did a little work. Hey, Nicholas, Randy, Chris, appreciate you guys popping in. Hey, guys, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Not only the Paddle and Fin page that we're on right now, but also our Facebook page for the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. And that's what you can find us at up top, at Rusty Hook Podcast. Go over and like that page for me. I want to, I, Although I'm streaming over here, I want you to keep that page up, keep putting content there as well. Um, but I wanted to I wanted to talk to you about this, guys. This iPhone that you got in your pocket. If if you're willing to take the time and look through the different applications that are on there, you you have a lot of really powerful apps on there um, that you can use. Now I'm using a program called Prism Live Studio, which gives me the ability to use my phone right here with. The program and you can see here some of the apps that I already have on my phone now the problem that I'm running into where I'm up here streaming off a hotspot is there's some, some some lag and I really really apologize for that but I'm going to try my very best to make this show work and try to give you guys some insight and show you some of the things that are done here so um, let's let's get back to that um, I'm, I'm going to get rid of my background and I'm going to show you the, the full screen of the photo apps that I use for my shows. And, and, and not only my shows, but I mean, you guys that are content creators out there, um, you don't always have time to be behind the computer like I am right now. If, if you were able to look at my setup right now, I've got three screens. I got a screen right here, I got an iPad hooked up as my third screen with my laptop we're not always going to have the ability to do that um, you know sit down uh, when we all have full-time jobs and and do the content that we that we do so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my screen there's two two programs if, if you have the ability to download that are free for your PC you want to get paint.net it is a great application to use to work with the graphics that I personally use when I send them over from my iPhone to my computer so I can put them on my shows. Now I'm, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to open up my, my scene two page. I'm going to show you those programs here. You see, this one here is paint.net. Okay, and then over here is the editor, it's called Photoscape 3.7. And what I love about this editor is its features. Now here I'm going to show you guys this program, this this icon that I created. Now, if you saw the opening credit that I did right here, you can see the icon that I built for this show, and this icon will be used over on the YouTube page for guys when they're browsing YouTube and they can see that icon that tells about this episode. 
So again, I want to I want to go back to the photos. Yeah, that was scene two, and that, that was the app there. That's that's in uh, Photoscape. What I like about the Photoscape app on the computer is once I build my graphics on my on my phone, and I use UDoodle quite a bit. I'm hoping this will work. It's really lagging, but I'm gonna give it a try. So what I what I'll do with you, Doodle? There you go. Shit's showing on the screen now. It's it's. I, I apologize, guys, for the lag, but I don't know if it's because of where I'm at. Uh, it, the connection between my phone and the program is what's slow. The stream to you guys is good, but let, let's go back and let's. I'm gonna show you what it is. You've got your blank opening screen right here, and it's a high resolution screen. What I do is I use the insert foreground. And I'll go to camera roll. And let's say that now what you've done is you, you went to a Facebook page and you have now become a pro staff for a page. And I just recently became affiliated with my, my brother from another Brian Schiller's company. It's called Dubro. And I support Brian. Brian's the marketing manager for Dubro. So um, we, we'll use this as an example. So you go to Dubro, and you add it, and you can see when I brought it up on when it when it pops up, you'll see that uh, it comes into my screen where I'm able to save it. Okay, now I can manipulate the Dubro. I'm going to save it, bring it into the screen where I can bring I can increase the size. And once you're able to increase the size, you can, you want to leave a little border because what I'm trying, what I want to show you guys, when you're using a graphic like these graphics are really acceptable for streaming because they're not good for print, okay? But they're good for using for graphics to put on your streams. So I've saved that, okay? Now I want to talk about another program. As soon as it catches up here, I'll show you. I've, I've got a couple other programs that I like to use. And uh, Superimpose is one. I actually pay a subscription for that. Guys, make sure you take the time when you're looking at the different apps that you can find on your, on your, your Google Play or your iPhone store. Is make sure they have changed a lot of how they do things now to where they're subscription based instead of the one-time fees before or finding something free and using it there's been many a program that i've used that went from being free to now it's subscription based and superimpose is one of circle crop is is a good frame is a good one to use and circle frames so i want to show you why i use circle crop and circle frame okay let's go open up circle crop and when it opens up, it'll show you. It'll be a, a. It'll have a circle in the middle with the with the the plus button. You push the plus, and you go to that that uh, thing that you just saved, which is Dubro. And it'll pull it up on there so you can look at, it. and you can manipulate it so it fits within the parameters of your circle. I gotta wait for this baby to catch up. I apologize, but it, uh, this is really, really, really a good program to use. So, as you can see, what I've just recently did when it catches up is I'm pushing the black button so I can see the outline of the Dubro. I like what I see because I'm gonna save that photo. And when you go to save photo, you gotta save it with a transparent background. So when you're looking at your screen here now, you go over to that transparent ping, and that's where you save it. You can hit save, and it's saved into your photo apps, right? And as you've seen here, I've got it saved.
And when when you're looking at graphics on your phone and it's it's got a black background, that's your saved photo. Okay, so what I like to do after I've saved that photo, I'll go back into my photo programs. I got circle frames. And I'll bring in that circle photo that I just saved. And then I'll create a frame around it. And what you'll see when you get that frame is you can edge it. And when I, I you know, and look, this is a lot of work. And this is why I'm saying this is something that you can do at work. When If you have the type of job where you have downtime, you're waiting for something. And you can build a graphic on your phone, and then you can send it to your computer, wrap it up, and it gives you so much more time for post-production. So you can see I've got the Dubro. I've got it saved. I've got it the way I want it to look. I send things to myself via Facebook Messenger. And you can see the different types of logos that I've worked on in the past that are affiliates that I'm affiliated with. And I like to make different buttons for these places so I can use them on whatever I want. And if you go back and look at my YouTube buttons from last year, like you're looking at this button here from I have from Randy Newton. Randy Newton has been on my show several times, and I, I used to put the guys that were on my shows, I put their their photo on my my YouTube button. Randy is now affiliated with the Paddle and Fin and is going to be doing a show right here once a month. I think it's called Outdoor Coffee. Make sure you watch for him. Okay. Congratulations, Randy, and we're really happy to have you with us. Okay, but so now uh, let's go back to the big screen here. And you know, I want to show you once you've got these things done. I actually, I want I want to go back to screen two. Okay, so let's open up Paint.net. And you can see some of the logos that I've recently saved. And what I did is I took when I got them over. I wanted to make sure that they had that transparent background. And you can see that that transparency is around the edge of the black, which is really important because when you're, you're bringing stuff over to and using it in your feeds, you want everything to be transparent so they can look professional. So I was telling you about Dubro. Looky there. I just don't up them there. And then these are some other ones that I'm affiliated with. Yak Gadget, my field free fishing team. Really proud to be a part of that group for now going on nine years. Paint Outdoors, Chris is the man. If you're ever looking for any really good reviews on products, he can help you there. Ace Resort is a new sponsor of the show. Going to be giving away some whitewater trips, passes to the lake. Uh, if you got kids, it's a great place to go. They got campgrounds, zip lines. Uh, but the whitewater is the main attraction, uh, hiking. It's just a great place to be. They got a bungee jump coming in. They got those those giant uh, tree parks where you, you walk through ropes and stuff. Really cool place. Look them up at aceraft.com. Then, of course, we've talked about this company here, Eastport Marina. Man, I am looking forward to going down there in April for a whole week and just relaxing. And then Westbrook Supply. Fletch and them down in Atlanta, Georgia are... are one of the premier shops in the East Coast. So make sure you go check those guys out. Um, if you need custom rigging, rigging ideas, answered questions, if you need stuff that you need to rig your boats with, make sure you reach out to Fletch. They can get, they can point you in the right direction, get you to ordered uh, for what you need. So yeah, man, that that's what I wanted to show you there. Um, Let's take a quick break. I want to show you what Brian shiller has been working on. Something like this real soon will be our new opener, and he's killing it.
outstanding. That's some beautiful work, Brian, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you, you come up with. But uh, Paddle and Fin Network, this is the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. We're live, raw, unfiltered, and twist, tongue twisted. Let's take a quick break. I'm going to just throw out some of my peeps, and we'll be right back. Ace Resort, West Virginia's number one destination for whitewater, hiking, zip lining, and more. Check out aceraft.com. That's Brooks Supply Company, Georgia's number one go-to kayak fishing supply store. Gear, accessories, and custom rigging. Look them up, westbrooksupplyco.com. Yak Gadget, proudly supplying you with American-made products and gear. Check out yakgadget.com. Feel free kayaks. Paddle, pedal, or power. There's something for everyone. Check out feelfreeus.com. Paint Outdoors is a custom plastic maker, design consultant, product reviewer, and outdoor writer. Check out more at paintoutdoors.com. All right, guys. Thanks again for hanging out with me tonight. So let's go over another thing. Let's do something a little bit more interactive here. Um, if everything works out for me and, the, and my phone feed will hold up. So, I tell you a company that I'm absolutely in love with. It's this company right here, and it's Bending Branches. All of us have paddled. We've been in this industry for a while. We have one with us everywhere we go. And I have absolutely always had a Bending Branches paddle wherever I, whatever I've been in. All my field freeze, my three waters, I, I've had I've had that. Back when I, even when I first uh, had my first very kayak, which was a, a Native Slayer 14.5. So uh, I, I, I'm a native fan, you know, so I want to say, hey, native, I, I, I love you. I, I want to be part of your group. So there's their logo, right? Well, I'm going to screenshot that baby. As soon as it pops up there, we'll look at it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to screenshot it here. See, they're live. Now we have it. <clears throat> we have their, their, their logo. And like I told you before, when you use your, your programs, so I'm going to go back to my U Doodle. Okay. And I've got my background set up. I'm going to insert camera roll. Bending branches. Add. I'm going to configure it so I can bring in just a picture, not the whole screen that I screenshot. And now you can see that it's I brought it on. I can adjust the size. So I'm going to bring it out there almost full size. That way, I have enough that I can. I, I can save that. I'm done with that. It's now I'm gonna save it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my color picker, and I'm gonna fill the edges. Because I want everything around that that graphic to be clean. Now I'm gonna save it. And it's saved. Okay. Now we'll back out of that program off our phone. And I'm going to go to circle crop. I'm going to clear what's do bro in there. And I'm going to add the bending branches logo that we just saved. Again, I'm using 
just several, uh, just a couple programs here, and I apologize for the delays here. Hopefully, this will come up quickly. I'm bringing in the Bending Branches logo to my, and I like using the black background so I can see everything. Make sure I got it to where I want it, and this looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to save that, and like I told you guys before, when you're saving these, make sure you save the photo and transparent ping background. So all that we're going to get right here is just the circle of the Bendy Branches logo. Say. And you're watching me real time how, how easy this can be to, to, to do, okay? Other than the fact that I have a little lag from my, my system. Now I'm going to bring up Circle Crop. Wait, I already did that. Okay, so um, I'm going to bring up Circle Frames, okay? Wow, that's slow. I hope it looks better on your end. I'm going to delete the Dubro logo. We've already get, we already got that one that we wanted, so I'm going to clear that. And now I'm going to bring up, as you can see, on the on my the backgrounds in, in my uh, my phone, the bending branches circle. That should completely go in there beautifully, which it does. And as you see here, there's different effects that you can use. There's a bubble effect. It's a cool little program. I just want that shape right there. Just a plain black circle around the logo. I'm going to save it. Now, like I told you guys earlier, great program to use to move your stuff from your phone and get it to a computer instead of using email is use Facebook Messenger because it already compresses the graphics down to what looks good on a screen. So I'm going to send myself this photo. And now what you do is you go over to your Oh, let me get back to uh, that. Uh, yeah, is that, I'm on the right scene. Okay, so now what I have to do, I, I go over to Facebook Messenger on my screen over here. Okay, and I go to my John Rap where I just sent myself a photo. And you can see the Bending Branches photo. I'm going to save it to my downloads. As you can see up top, it says Save to Downloads Complete. Now I'm going to get back into my PaintNet program that I was telling you guys about. And I'm going to go to my open up that logo from my downloads page. File. Open. And you go to your downloads. And there she is. Okay. Go to your tools right here in the corner. And you go to the magic wand. And you clean that. Graphic up all that white into a transparent and then save it. File, save as. You save it as a ping file, .png. I'm just going to save it in my download files. Okay, so now let's go back to John Big, my, my program here. I'm going to close up these, these different logos. I've already got on the screen and I'm going to bring bending branches on because I love their stuff I own their stuff and make sure you know they under, you understand 
you're not cursed that for them, but you're you're just showing a little love for what you use. Don't be like those guys up in Pennsylvania that got in trouble, you know, because they're doing stuff illegally. If you are, if you want to be pro staff, just just make sure that you understand that you are not part of that company. You don't represent that company, and you might want to make a dis disclaimer that you're just showing love to a product that you use and and enjoy to use every day. So, what you do, you just bring it into your program, man. And uh, I think that's it right there. And there we go. I am showing love to that program, to that, that group right there. So I hope you can see how easy it is to use some of these programs that we've talked about right here. And the photos here. Now, I, I was showing you guys earlier how I built my episode thing, my episode place card, this baby right here. And you know, you can see the, the programs. I even, I went and screenshot the different program pages um, from the App Store like the so you could see I could include them on my graphic and all I did was crop them down I sent them over to my paint net and I layered them after I had them all done and you saw how easy that was so yeah let me close that Nicholas, Chris, Jason, uh, Bass Kayak and Beers, what up, what up? Mikey, good evening. Hey, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I see we have, a, a it looks like eight or nine people watching the show right now. Hit that like button, follow, share. Um, if you have any questions or if there's something that you would like for me to try to show you real quick, I would love to try to uh, watch and see what you have, the questions you have. Um so let's take a quick break, and then I'm going to show the PNF intro that, we're, that Brian's been working on. He used the Apple Media uh, to build it, um, but I'm going to show you this again. And when we come back, maybe we can we can talk about uh, something that y'all would like to have some interest in via your phones when it comes to graphics or uh, some, otherwise. Nothing but love for everybody out there. So let me see if anybody's got any good evening. Um, so yeah. All right. So okay, I want to show you this other program. Let me bring you back to my big screen, and I, I want to talk about that. This post maker. Now I actually took the time to buy this program. It's called Post Maker. And what I did, and why I did it, is you'll see when it loads up here, is uh, it has different areas and different types of logos, or I mean, really, it's it's backgrounds and and and, and icons um, that you can use for your Instagram, Facebook, and everything. If you look up top. You can see it. And these are pretty damn 
they're, they're high end. They're, they're really nice, good looking graphics, as you can see. Um, so it's froze up on me a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna, I want you to see the, uh, the different logos up top, right there above the thank you 100 followers, are a list of things that you can look at. Okay. So you got those there. Facebook posts, you got album covers, and it's, it's right, it's coming in behind us now, so it's trying to catch up. You got real covers. So, guys, if you want to make reels with your photographs, something that you might want. And, and one thing that I've noticed that the whole idea being about being a content creator is trying to be somebody or trying to do something that looks professional. If you if you if you represent and you're representing yourself, right? Oh, looks like we got hacked there with a promotional guy. But uh, I want you to think about different pages that you can use. Um, but the whole idea behind this episode is saying, hey. You don't have to just flop up something on your on your on your feed, and it doesn't. Ha it, you can make it look good, and a lot of the stuff that I've done, I use editing with my iMovie program, especially when I'm doing video. And the video segment of this will be next week. But I wanted you to see. I did a Facebook uh, or Facebook. Um, cover, I believe, page cover. Okay, and this will look familiar to you. Is this, this this one's right here? It is coming up. Hopefully, you you'll just scroll when it gets there. Right here. This is the this is the one I decided to use. And you, you can see how I did it. When I, I'll flip back here in just a second once it catches up. But I want you to see that when I use this, I edited it so I could use my rusty hook gimbal. So let's go ahead and do the edit button there. Maybe it'll catch up. So I deleted that. And the other thing is, uh, you can see I, in my albums, I have things set up so I can find everything easily. So, like, I got podcast photos for all the guys that have been on the podcast that I've cropped in there. But let's say we're going to do this one for Paddle and Finn. I wish it would catch up, but it hasn't yet. I'm editing here. I just added the Paddle and Fin logo. And I'm adding some info here for... And there we go. We think of that. I mean, that's how simple that was. You save it, you take it over, you you add it to your your uh, YouTube creator, and now you have a really nice and cool and clean looking icon catch photo 
for when people were browsing their YouTube. So I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's go to my YouTube page. I want you to see what I'm talking about. Uh, social media. Ooh, not this video. Okay, so it's on my video page. And I'm going to go to my YouTube studio. Hopefully this will catch up here a second. And I'm going to show you all the different videos that I've done. Now you can now, I've got them listed here for you to look at. And this was season two. This is how I did those graphics to include. Looks like it's trying to load. Well, you know, it's slow. It'll come up here in just a second, but you can see. Come on, baby. Be nice to me. There we go. So there's the studio page. And you can see like the last episode that I did was season two, episode 50. But what I went in and tried to make sure all of my different logos in there had uh, the information about the episode. So you, the consumer, the person that may want to watch these content, has the ability to say, hey, I want to check out that I'm driving down the road, you're on your YouTube, you got it setting up, and you just go and you're playing it, and you're listening to it. Because maybe you don't have Anchor FM where you can listen to a podcast to your stereo, but you, you can watch YouTube, and you can listen to the content on YouTube. When you're at a red light or something, you can browse them and look at it. I don't, don't want you to do that. I want you to drive safely, but people do it. Let's bring up the big one here. Hopefully it'll load. Maybe if I switch scenes. There we go. Go back. The episode 2, the Christmas special. You know, I had uh, guys from American Tackle. I had John Graves. had uh, um, Randy came on from Fish USA. And then... We met Brandon Honaker from down at uh, his store there in Hurricane from Academy Sports. So, you know, those guys came on. They talked about what would be good Christmas stocking stuffer. Great little episode. Appreciate those guys that came out and uh, helped me on YouTube. But uh, that's one of the things, like, if you're looking to start and do uh, live streaming or do a podcast or do shows, do stuff on the water, water highly recommend you look at prism studio live and it really has a great app for your iphone and i if you go look at this episode right here um this is prism studio live as i broadcasted and you can see that uh, it's not going to show you yet but um I've got the logos up in there from Rusty Hook, a paddle and fan. It's got an intro. You can see it there. It's pretty cool. It's a great little program. So you can take the graphics that you make on your phone. You can incorporate it into here, into Prism. Um, so you can make some good content, make it look a little bit more professional, rep the, the companies that you love, and uh, go from there. All right. We've been on about 45 minutes. Let's see if we're going to... Matt. Mr. John, evening, brother. Hey, Matt. Oh, it's good to hear from you, buddy. Happy New Year. All right. So, yeah. Um, but I, I really recommend you take a look at those programs. Um, and 
that those are my video programs there but uh, there's there's others oh and this is a great one here um th this was a one of those that five years ago when i paid for it i, I bought it for like 10 bucks five or four bucks five bucks and it was called Lumiere, and it really, it was a hog. It was graphic extensive. I mean, really, really, a, 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 it really sucked the bandwidth on my phone. But I want you to see these cool uh, graphics that you can, you can do on here. So, let's put the Bending Branches graphic up. Now, what because I made that I purchased it, purchased this program. I've got the ability to add three effects on here. So, it's July Fourth, and you want to show some patriotic spirit. So you can go to effects. You can add some fireworks. I hope that'll show on your screen. And then you can do it again. Add a flag, and then maybe add some confetti. I've got some confetti on here, or did. There we go. So there you go. I mean, as it catches up on your screen, there you'll see this program is called Lumiere. is a great, great program you can use to throw up on your pages and if you go look at my rusty hook page let's go do that I did something like this for the new year What I did is uh, I made a graphic using my logo. Right there it is. Oh, come on. Be nice to me. See the confetti, the fireworks, and I even used the cheers button so I mean that's a great little program that you can use to add some flavor to your social media to your Instagram projects your reels I, I believe that's something that you guys might like um, now you got to pay for it. this one has changed to the monthly subscription uh, I have not done that where I bought it outright before, but it still tries to encourage me to do it, which I haven't done. Now, what I've done here, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to this for you guys. Get caught up here. Let's talk about... I'm, I'm going to jump over and I'm going to show you, it's called Vid Story, but it's more made for reels. So, these are your different templates. As it catches up, you'll see, that's my girl right there. Hey, Betty, giving her a mooch on a cruise we went to. But you can see down at the bottom when it was showing, you had three different scenes to create. Now, I'm not showing you the templates here that you can use. You got these different cool templates. This one here, I've used with my rusty hook emblem. So that's the way it looks full screen. I'm going to let her catch up here with you guys. And it comes with some music. It's not the greatest, but most of us, when we create a real we're going to go use more of the popular music that they provide on Reels. I don't use TikTok, so I don't know anything about that, but this, this could be used for TikTok. You just go from there. But 
I was showing you that one that I used for Rusty Hook there a second ago. Here it is. It's still on the screen. And as soon as my the screen catches up, you'll see what I'm talking about there. So it, it's, a, it's a good little, cool little... Uh, okay, it's not showing the video, but that's all right. I think you guys get the gist. But this is that program that I'll... It's something you might want to look at. It's called Vid Story. Next week, we'll go over more of these programs that I'm showing here. Okay, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, anyway, I appreciate all you guys hanging out with me tonight, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of uh, graphics that I was able to show you and programs that you can get for your iPhone. The whole intent of this episode was to be able to, for all you content creators, is to not fail to utilize the tool that you have in your pocket and the time saving that it can provide you. That way, when you're home, you can get things done a lot faster. Um, I hope that you can, you'll take a, a, a few looks at these tips or tricks that I've provided you and you can use them. Now, the other thing is this graphic, this show with graphics feeds into next week's when we're doing video because we'll take the graphics that we just built and utilized today, like the Dubro graphic or the Bending Branches graphic, and we will move it over and we'll use it into the different video apps that I will show you next week. I, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. I'm hoping that sooner or later, I just got Starlink here in West Virginia. Um, I'm still on the wait list for the, the, the full package. Hopefully, my upper, my upstream will get better with that, so I don't have to keep bothering my fine friends up here at the, the tractor bar using their room, which is their, their banquet room, uh, for all their parties and stuff. But I appreciate Steve and him giving me a place to come up, put my equipment up, and stream my videos. Anyway, I appreciate Matt, Carl, uh, and the rest of you guys that took a few minutes to watch the show. Be blessed. And uh, if you missed the video version of this, make sure you go check out Anchor FM and listen to the show on your way home. Anchor FM dash John Rapp. Thank you for tuning in to the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. Join us every Tuesday night as guests chat about their experiences, picking up a few tips, tricks, and some on-the-water techniques, new gear releases, and product reviews. Always raw and unfiltered, straight talk, streaming via the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Facebook page, YouTube channel, at Camo Ninja WV, and at Twitch TVWV Wrap. Go subscribe and follow us on all our social media. If you miss this live stream or are traveling, use your favorite podcast platform for our audio playback on Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, and more.